This is Nila Hoz or Blue Tank. It is a natural depression next to Sanjay Van in South Delhi, India. The tank, once a major source of fresh water in South Delhi and later a dumping ground due to rapid urbanization, is presently a constructed wetland. The wetland treats sewage water through bioremediation and lets it flow into the lake. It is not only efficient and reliable when compared to mechanical sewage treatment plants, but it's also economical. It requires zero electricity. Today, the wetland converts 1 million litres of sewage water per day into clean water comparable to tap water having less than BOD 4 milligrams per litre per day. The success story of Nila Hawes has made officials consider similar implementations in other water bodies and develop a network of wetlands ecosystem in the city. Colombo has such a network in place that provides critical life support to the city. This also helps decrease floods. In 2018, Colombo was declared the first capital to be accredited as an international wetland city by Ramsar. Many other cities are coming to realize the significance of wetlands, its intricate connections with the sustainability of the environment and the well-being of the people. Just as forests are called the lungs of the earth, wetlands are the kidneys that regulate water and filter waste from the landscape. Wetlands include mangroves, peatlands and marshes, rivers and lakes, deltas, rice fields and even coral reefs. Wetlands exist in every country and in every climatic zone. In India, around 4.63 of the geographical area is wetlands. A total of 7,57,060 wetlands have been mapped in the country. But why are wetlands important? Wetland ecosystems support a host of animal and plant life and they are critically important for the survival of humans too, from the mitigation of climate change to the protection of human settlements from floods. But sadly, 50% of the world's wetlands have been destroyed. Without suitable wetland habitat, many species could soon be homeless. Let us explore the benefits of wetlands in detail. Wetlands are great filters. They trap sediments and remove pollutants, which helps to purify water. This certainly beats expensive, human-made filtration systems. Wetlands work like giant sponges. They store water and then slowly release it. And this helps to deal with dry seasons with little rainfall. Wetlands can prevent floods. When rivers burst their banks, wetlands can store the excess water and slow it down so it distributes more evenly over a floodplain. The roots of trees and other vegetation also helps slow the speed of flood waters. In the past, city planners either filled in wetlands areas or dammed them, adding pipes that would lead the water to the ocean as fast as possible. But now, we know that wetlands allow water to soak into the ground and to replenish the natural groundwater supply. Biodiversity is high around wetlands' habitats. These areas provide food and shelter for many animals. The biodiversity of wetlands has produced some incredible specialist species that are only found in these habitats. Wetlands provide good areas for grazing and the variety of grasses along with the supply of running water can be beneficial to farming livestock. Wetlands provide locations for recreation. Wetlands provide people a place to visit where they can enjoy nature walks, picnics, birding, fishing or even sailing. As more people flock to cities, these recreational spaces in nature become even more valuable. Urban wetlands are prized land and therefore should be integrated into the development and management plans of cities. The Ramsar Convention Wetland City Accreditation recognizes 18 cities that have taken exceptional steps to safeguard their urban wetlands. 
these pioneer cities will serve as examples and inspire deliberate actions for other cities towards sustainable urbanization. Currently in India, 47 wetlands with a surface area of over a million hectares are designated as wetlands of international importance under the Ramsar Convention. One of the most important ones in this list is the 55-acre East Kolkata wetlands. It is the world's only fully functional organic sewage management system. These unique wetlands receive the city's sewage, organically treated with the help of sunshine, oxygen and microbial action and turn into a productive fish habitat. In short, these wetlands are Kolkata's free sewage remediation works, a fertile aquatic garden and most importantly, a natural flood defence for the low-lying city. The capital Delhi has identified 1,043 water bodies but none are notified. This, however, could soon change, with the capital expected to notify 10 major lakes and water bodies as wetlands by the end of March. The Delhi State Wetland Authority is expected to release a draft notification for each water body under the Wetlands Conservation and Management Rules of 2017. As cities grow and demand for land increases, the tendency is to encroach on wetlands. But this needs to be reversed as wetlands represent an essential component of strategies for adaptation to and mitigation of climate change.